you like Finnish ballad music, right? Uh... I, I, I'm ambivalent when it comes to Finnish music. But fair. Oh, we live, by the way. Neat. Welcome, everybody, to WBBL76 with Newt and Crips. Why does my... Hang on. <laughs> my break video is missing. What the fuck? Huh? I honestly don't care enough to fix it on the fly. Hey there, uh, Bully, Bully Snake and Lord Grimmer. Oh, it's because I'm on CP? break, not intro. I'm an idiot. On eaten Careful, guys, this beer contains barley. It says so right on the uh, label. Contains colon barley. Uh. It might con it might not contain barley. I guess there's beer without barley. It could also be alcohol-free beer without barley. That guy was barely a thief, uh, Hey, it was a misprint. He was a barley thief. Uh, not just the barley, too. He took the whole truck, huh? Evening Rimward and uh, Zeus is a goose. Uh, flying saucer-shaped pancakes are the best ones. So. I like the very thin ones that have got a lot of little air bubbles in them. They're kind of rubbery. Yeah. Uh, mix them longer. It, it's it's hard for me to have it done well because oftentimes they'll still fluff up and I only want them like three millimeters thick. Uh, I can't help you with the fluffing up part. I can tell you you'll get chewy air bubbles if you overmix it. Uh, yeah, quote unquote, like when you're really thin, one side can be like crusty hard. Like it has to be a really runny broth. This yeah. broth. And a runny broth that's also a thick broth doesn't work that fast. Okay, add more water and mix it harder. Tell and t report back. Okay? Actually, add a splash of cream, maybe, and over mix it. Huh? I don't make pancakes too often, so. It was Pancake Tuesday at some point, but we del got delayed. Huh? <laughs> Alright, I don't know how you would do it, but if any of you want to try and stream snipe me on Alan Wake, by all means. Also, one of the tags is Barry, because you can't do Barry with a heart emoji. Eh? We've just been sitting here staring into space uh, after a traumatic event, as far as the people around me are concerned. But meanwhile, we've just been listening to music in our head. Uh. Chris, you are quiet today. Yeah, I am. Sorry about that. It's because Someone responded to me on Reddit, and I needed to respond back. Oh my god, give him hell, man. Fuck him up, huh? Well, he was wondering why I was suggesting to beat trees with a corpse in Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, and I had to explain. It's a very good thing to do. Wait, okay, uh, explain. This so, is the kind of case my ex... There's a mechanic in, in Cataclysm, oh, that, like the hidden health stat, that also improves your That's stamina funny. a bit, the, the more you use your stamina. But it only works 
if you drain your stamina to less than 20%, me, you were my ex's favorite. up to three times a day. And the more you exercise your stamina, the more it grows. So if you're doing a lot of crafting and not getting into combat, like especially melee your combat... Your stamina shrinks. Uh... Your st yeah, your stamina just goes to nothing over time. So an easy trick is to pick up something really heavy, like a corpse, and then smash a tree with it. And this drains your stamina real hard, but it does it really fast, way faster. This didn't the work the first time, did it? Uh, you nope. Can t you can tell. This did not work at all. It kind of worked. Well, no, I mean because they had to, because somebody had to come over and uh, yeah. add extra emphasis to it with a fe with a ballpoint pen. I like that they covered the only other page on this poster board too. Like, it doesn't matter what's underneath it. This is more important. It's not even a poster board. It's just the wall. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's uh, next to the coffee. Yeah. Evening, uh, Digi. How's it going? Uh, we're almost at the point where I can actually, uh, cross-reference stuff and actually try and take a look at a, uh... Oh, look at that graph. Guidance. Look at those numbers. They're colorful. Whoa, look at this graph! Oh! Vehicle moose accident statistics in Washington State. There is no I change over time. That is the single greatest graph I have ever seen in any video game ever. <laughs> no uh. numbers, just bars. Hang on, let's see if I can... Maybe you have to zoom in with your gun. Oh, I was just trying to screenshot it. Uh, evening ladder maker, how's it going? Hopefully it's going pretty well. All right, the puzzle. Digi, fair. Fair. That's going to be me on Thursday. Oh, well, let's snoop through their shit. Oh, wait, we already snooped through their shit. Uh -huh. Do not microwave whole fish. I shouldn't have to say this. Uh, what happens if they're, like, gutted first? Can we microwave the fish guts? That is not where I thought... You zagged, huh? I thought you were going to zag and you zagged. Uh, I bet their guts don't... Uh, actually, no, cod, cod liver must smell like fish because it tastes like fish. Uh. Why, why would people eat cod liver oil straight? Like, you, you could just... You could just... Get the capsule pill. Ah, uh, they did down. not. They did not used to have capsules. Uh, or li That's liquid, liquid, that liquid gels. Uh. Yeah. Uh, those are called. Those are gel capsules. Is I think what they're called now. Mm -hmm. I have the sad little uh, capsules, and I have to fill my green powder by hand because I don't want to have to deal with all the regulation involving capsule fillers. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Did you know you, in Canada you have to register any capsule fillers, even home ones, with uh, Health Canada? Really? Yep, uh, you have to provide the serial number and everything off of it. Uh, what happens if you just... Don't? Don't uh, make it a capsule. Oh, so what, we're, we're making square pills now? I mean, you, you, well, like, you can buy empty pills that are just capsules and just snap them together. Yeah, right? I know. That's what I bought. Uh, I do it by hand. It's just a pain in the ass. So. so, but like the filler can be anything, right? It doesn't need to be a specific stuff? Uh, they have de they have definitions of what is and isn't a capsule filler. Hmm. Yeah, and my hands don't count as a capsule filler under the law, so I guess that's the safest way to do it. Uh. Okay, okay. Let's find out where Wake really is, uh. He's trapped in the dark place. Yep. I assumed Wake escaped the dark place. Is it possible he's still there? I figured it out the exact I same time Saga did. Ocean of mm -hmm. darkness. Gone diving. Note from my editor. You're using the wrong tense. Trapped in a loop. My friends will meet him when I'm gone. Wake is still trapped in the dark place. That be this is the best transition to switch Maybe over to him, isn't it? Possible. It kind of is pretty good, yeah. But first, Pappy Warg. Weak and the clicker. Scratch Wake tried to, to take, take the clicker. Yeah, sorry. Has Scratch been pretending to be Wake this whole time? Where is the real Alan Wake? Yes. Will the real Alan Wake stand up?
Wake is trapped in the dark place. He's been reaching out, communicating with me in the overlaps. Been there the entire time. Definitely there now. The order in which we found out goes Chris, uh, followed by me and Saga at the exact same time, which was five seconds before he ma went mask off. Uh. Mm -hmm. I've consumed a lot of fiction media. Mm. It, it, mm -hmm. yeah. mm. Casey thinks Wake is Scratch and always has been. Certainly possible. The thing that attacked Casey had Wake's face. There was never any Wake. It was Scratch the entire time. I assume. I, assume something, oh. I assume something strange has happened with the time, but what if it's simpler than that? I've heard so-so things about Battletech uh, fiction there, Grimace. <laughs> Is it decent? Their goals were the same. Could mean Scratch and Wake are one and the same, or just a coincidence. So. Back. It's not a coincidence. They both need it to turn their dream into reality. It's just one is bad and one is good. Uh, Casey yeah. said David and I took a break and moved to Watery with Logan. Oh, oh shut up, bitch. I am trying. Uh, I never did any of these things. Stories. It's like some bad soap opera version of my life. The story says I left David and Job for a trailer. This is not me. This is not my life. Uh, we are not alike. Uh. That makes sense, Grimos. Like I, like the one author I know from BattleTech Stackpole, or Stackpool is uh, has both really good stuff and really bad stuff. You use incognito mood to search up big girl boobies. Uh. I use incognito mode to search are all dogs boys and all cats girls. We are not the same, huh? Concern. The is dark my presence response is to that. <laughs> Concern. At least that makes sense. Can provide protection for later. Yeah. Evening Pony Heart. How's it going? Still can't believe I've just been standing here. No, as a bit of a recap to those people who weren't here last stream, uh, we uh, we discovered that the wake that's been walking around on the real surface as uh, was not real. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry about your brother Elmo. Yaku was all hard. And we got a stretch always, redeemed. Went along with my ideas, no matter how stupid they were. Always happy to help. I got carried away. I never think things through. It's my fault. I realize it's a bad time. But I need you to tell me everything about the cult of the tree. The cult is my craziest idea that ever worked. <laughs> Look, what kind of a cult calls themselves a cult? Exactly. We protect watery and bright falls. We're the good guys. A secret neighborhood watch. Well, that was the idea anyways. Look, we've always known about the horror inside the lake. Would any Taken come out, we kill them. You don't turn people into Taken. You kill the ones who already have. Grimace, yes. Yeah, so, uh, he died at the end of the last stream. He was slammed into the uh, jail bars by uh, Scratch. Uh. Who went through him. Yep. Yep. Pony hearts. Yeah, no, those are those are the tough days. The only thing I can suggest is try and just at least find something little to do outside and then go back in, you know, just little steps. Elmo said the cult kills Taken. Is he telling the truth? Surplus deer masks by in bulk. We've got a floater, a taken on the shore. Call the gang, Yako. We are going hunting. Cult of the tree. Keeping the town safe since 2013. Elmo is telling the truth about the cult. 
They really were fighting the Taken. We're on the same side. If the cult is killing Taken, then why did Nightingale turn into one? Private party. Invitation only. Wrong time. Wrong place. Time to go, Yaku. A job half done isn't done at all. Nightingale became a Taken because the Bookers interrupted their ritual. They did that, the ritual enough that it became art, so that it had to happen. Yeah. Nightingale was already taken. Cult's ritual would have stopped him, but was interrupted. Cult ritual failed to destroy Nightingale because the bookers interrupted it. The cult of the tree targeted people already <laughs> taken. I'm surprised it wasn't that one on the bottom. Ah. Cult of the tree kills taken to protect bright falls and watery. Mm-hmm. The cult of the tree is just the Cascella brothers' slightly misguided solution to the Taken problem. How many people have you killed there, lady? Uh, almost as many, but you're, I do get exactly what you're saying, yeah. <laughs> Ritual was meant to destroy Taken, not create them. Uh, it, it kind of got co-opted by the Dark Presence. You were trying to kill Alan Wake. Why? Nothing good has ever come out of Cauldron Lake. The nightmare that hit Bright Falls in 2010 was all because of his writing. And ever since then, pages of his stories are floating up from the lake, and monsters keep popping out. It's all him, Wake. And if we don't stop him, no one will. Wake's evil doppelganger scratches the threat we're facing. Not Wake. And I will stop him. I've never heard of anyone called Scratch. How long has the cult been around for? Certain folks around here have always known about Cauldron Lake. Before us, it was the Torchbearers. And when I inherited the mission, I wanted to call it a cult. <laughs> it was genius. Just the name did half the work. Made people too scared to go into the woods at night. Business 101. Fear is a great motivator. I'm gonna deal with the situation, Elmo. But the town will need protection until we sort this out. I could use your help. Right. Right. I'll round up the gang. Whoever's left. We won't let these fucking monsters hurt any more of our people. We'll do my brother proud. Thank you, Elmo. Oh, right, it's that broken one that won't go away. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, wrong room. Hey there, okay, Mo. So what we're the doing? cult of the tree actually kills Taken. Fine. Yourself? They were on our side, even if their methods are misguided and criminal. It looked right from where we were standing. Nothing's what it seems in this case. Too many stories contradicting each other. Too many versions of the truth. We have a lot of catching up to do after this thing is all over. Everything is different now. My family, me, the whole fucking world. 
I'll buy the coffee, Anderson. Partners to the end. This case is one for the books. I see what you did there. Haha, <laughs> get it? Because he's a writer. Mm-hmm. Uh, basically, they can't get information out right now, uh, Pony Hearts. They, d they didn't technically know the date this would happen. They just knew that it was happening. That's my understanding. They knew it would happen eventually. They didn't have any way yeah. of knowing when. And they tried to react quickly enough, but basically all the agents they said in there, sent into there were cannon foddered. Plus they don't have, you know, they don't have the main office anymore. Or... Yeah. <laughs> hey Mercury, uh for panning is an art after all, therefore it'll ops absolutely be successful. That's how that works, right? The cult thinks Rit Wake is responsible for Tate. Can believing kill believe killing him will stop this. So. Cult wasn't working for or with Wake or Scratch, operating on their own. Yeah. Uh, I don't recall if the crossover DLC gave them a literal countdown. It it might have, but remember part of that game made it clear that the uh, facility is not accessible. Yeah, no, it's uh, no intel in or out. Huh? Yeah. Which has got to mean that there's a lot of real hungry people inside there. Eh. They've got bags and bags and bags of unlabeled... Uh, Mystery meat? Uh, no, uh, un or, uh, unlabeled uh, chips and stuff. Hmm. Huh? Mm. You can't have brand names because those are uh, iconic and it causes yeah. problems. So. Mm -hmm. Alright, this is where What's-Her-Face was hiding. Mercury Alpha. Hey, hey, no, it, it, it helps problems, especially if they have a scar on the brain. And remember, any organ you take out of someone is immediately uh. in perfect condition. Or limb. I too play Rim World. Two colonists with arms that are uh, ma mangled beyond description with scars. Amputate, swap, put them back on. Good to go. That's so sad. You can see where Emo carried Yakko out. Huh? Mm hmm. Oh, and uh, Fake Wake was able to rip one of the bars from the cell walls just right off and use it as a bludgeon. Yep. Can we see the damaged wall? Uh, where is it? Uh... It was he ripped. He was in the hallway when he ripped it off. Yeah. It's, it's got to be one of the ones on the edges, right? Maybe it was on the door. Deep Fake Wake. I don't know. Oh, it, was it on the uh, Jacko's cell door? Or uh, Jacko's maybe. cell door? Uh, it sure fucking looks like it. Uh, I don't see the bar that was ripped off. Oh, well. It's a plot hole. Document. The cult didn't trust Wake. Or is it Scratch? Subject of interview with suspect. Alan Wake. Suspected. Para-utilitarian. Location. Bright Falls, WA. Interviewer. Kirian Estevez. Lead agent. KE. Mr. Wake, you have been taken into FBC custody and will receive an in-depth interrogation at a later date. <laughs> but for now, I need to ask if there's anything you can tell us regarding the incident at the hotel. Anything we may need to know... Alan Wake, there's a force here you don't understand. A presence. It's after me. It wants to consume me. Consume everything. My wife. K.E. Yes, you mentioned this dark presence before. Why does it want you? Alan Wake, it feeds on artists, on the art they create. It wants me to become because of my writing. But it can be any form of art, any artistic expression. Music, painting, film, photography. 
You can feed on any of it, all of it. You have to believe me. K.E. We are well aware of this entity, Mr. Wake. We've been tracking the situation here for a long time now. You yourself have been on our radar for over a decade. I'm sure those nuts in the research department are just going to love checking you out. Hey, make a note to redact that before submission. Let's get back on track. You mentioned a light switch earlier. Where is it now? Ellen Wake. I don't know, but I need it. I can't end this without it. Will you help me get it? K.E. Sorry. Mr. Wake, you are in custody, pending charges for breaching numerous federal violation codes. We are not going to give you a suspected paranatural object. Ellen Wake. You're not listening to me. Hey, we are listening just fine. Now, do you have any accomplices? Alan Wake. Beep you. Let me the beep out of here. It's coming for me. We're all in danger. Interview was terminated due to the subject and being uncooperative. Wake isn't the first person the Dark Presence disguised itself as. Report supplement. Re, The Shadow, Summary. Through extensive interviews with witnesses of AWE-35, additional details regarding the Shadow, A-0-10, have been discovered, redacted, and redacted. Both present during AWE reported seeing a woman named Barbara Jagger in Bright Falls at the time. Jagger is a former actress in Bright Falls residence who emerged from the filmmaker Tho with the filmmaker Thomas Sane from Finland and was reported to have drowned in Cauldron Lake during a redacted AWE in 1970. Research staff have concluded that Jager Jagger's appearance is likely a case of shadow manifesting in human form. Research is ongoing as to the nature of this connection between the shadow and the psycho's physical signatures available for it to mimic. Current hypotheses are A. The shadow can only manifest as artists or individuals tangentially in involved in the creation of said art who have operated within a certain physical range of Cauldron Lake. B. The shadow can manifest as any individual contained, definition needed, within Cauldron Lake. Research is actively ongoing. All right. See document RDRE-46 WAKE1970 for further details. FBC file Dark Presence assumed the form of Barbara Jager. I need to know what information I can still trust. Scratch pretended to be Wake, used us for how long? The whole time? Can anything Wake said be trusted? Uh... No, no it cannot. The story so far. Dark presence feeds on art and the art they yeah. or artists and the art they yeah. produce. Evening, Drift Pirate. Hopefully you're having a great afternoon. Grandpa, help, huh? Wake told me the clicker would fix this. But Wake was actually Scratch. How can I trust anything he said? The artist must conclude his work. He rides a storm on your piece. Wake up and smell the danger. Ever we the told you already, the kiddo. Shadow. What Tom said about the light switch is true. Don't let the story confuse you. You need him to write the ending you want. The clicker can make that ending come true. But we don't have Wake. Everything we knew about the clicker was true. He wasn't lying. Hey, painting's kind of fun. I'm, I'm not very good at it, but it is kind of fun. And remember, if you want to wake up, the best part of waking up is folders in your cup. <laughs> and copyright strike. The lake is a gateway to the dark place. Deployment order zero. Why didn't you label this, Jeffries? 
Urgent situation at approximately 1900 hours on 13 September 2023. Readings from a remote surveillance unit monitoring Cauldron Lake, a known threshold to what re researchers theorize is the origins of dimensions A 040, the shadow, at past acceptable limits. Attempt to contact FBC Research Facility WA 03, codename The Lake House. We're unsuccessful. On site verification is not possible. Response procedures are initiated with immediate effect. Lead agent K Estevez will mobilize. Oh, just we're just so lucky she's the one who survived. Will mobilize investigative unit Beta from the remote operations site at Redacted. All available shadow specific equipment Lot 4 11 B has been approved for use in the field. Objectives: to confirm an active event. If active AWE is occurring, the dispatch team will identify its nature, severity, limit exposure, and attempt to contain or neutralize the source. If no Event is active, check monitoring equipment, perform a limited profile sweep of the area, check status of Lake House and its staff. Additional information. Relevant operatives in the area include Cult of the Tree, Redacted, and Alan Wake, currently missing. What the hell is a para-utilitarian? Item classification request number 194-F. Summary of findings, description slash para-utility. Based on reports, the item is a light switch from a lamp cord, with part of the severed cord still attached. Eyewitnesses' accounts suggest the item possesses the ability to alter reality, the changes being based on redacted. When used by a capable para-utilitarian, parsing this item's effect from that of Cauldron Lake Threshold responsible for occurring AWEs in the area is difficult, because the only reported uses of the item have occurred near this threshold. Without more data, we cannot confirm if the item intensifies the effect of the threshold or vice versa, or if there's no connection whatsoever. Recorded material from Dr. Hartman, after becoming a redacted, have been revealed that Alan Wake eliminated Barbara Jagger, likely a physical manifestation of a redacted, by inserting the light switch into its chest and flicking the switch. The item is confirmed to have been used in 2010 to turn fictional writing into reality, see file AWE-35. However, it is unclear what the restrictions and limitations of this effect are. Conclusion, the light switch is a possible object of power, but the team cannot conclusively classify the item based on second-hand accounts. Proper examination and testing is required in order to determine classification and precise effect of the item. The Tony Hearts, that's not going to be part of this game, I do, but hope. Suggested by a piece of art. Makes them permanent. Uh, there was a clicker right near the end of uh, Alan Wake 1, uh, Pony Hearts. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm just trying to uh, r jive his memory. Yeah. Jog his memory. Wake up the clicker. Remember they found it in the well-lit room that What's-Her-Face didn't want to change any more light bulbs in? Or... Yeah, that had like dozens and dozens and dozens of light bulbs. The well lit room. Mm -hmm. It's so well lit that uh, it's a proper noun, and uh, you got to capitalize the first letter. And it would have been so much more well lit if she would have put like mirrors or tinfoil on the walls. Huh. Probably. According to the file, Wake has used the clicker to change reality before. FBC file on Cauldron Lake threshold to another reality. Wake's in the dark place, and Cauldron Lake is the threshold to it. Uh. it to be fair, Pony Hearts, it was kind of brought in right near the end as this thing he remembered from his child. Wake remembered from his childhood. It was very much a. Uh, no, the they no, they literally in the uh, in part three. Remember when you're in the flashback in New York and the power goes out? Uh, Wake mm -hmm. gives it to. Uh, uh, Alice to uh, make her feel better. And tells uh, her the story yeah, about that it, is uh... true. That is true. I forgot about that. It it, it, it did fair, very much feel like a random like fifth act MacGuffin though. But then again, I I kind of kind of forgot a lot of the plot of Alan Wake itself too. Scratch told me the clicker can be used to change the story. Does that match your understanding of this thing? Yeah, the light switch is a paranatural item, maybe even an object of power. 
We have verified reports that Alan Wake was in possession of it during the AWE here back in 2010. And it definitely has power. We know that much. I can come up with a plan. I always do. Pony Hearts, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're, uh, it has been about a decade. The FBC identified the clicker as a paranatural item. They believe it has power. The clicker can fix this. But I can't use it without Wake. Tor knows about this stuff. Maybe he can help. Wake is still in the dark place. How do I get him out? We live and breathe rock and roll. From the silence of screams, from the fever of dreams. The clicker can Did you see him other works of art, not mm -hmm. just Tom's writing. Anything created with passion. The dark power of the lake will make it creep into reality. But if the holder of the clicker believes in the art, they can make it all come true in the flick of a switch. I can use the clicker without Wake. Only Wake's writing can change the horror story. But I can use the clicker to change something else. Like getting Wake out of the dark place. I will use the clicker to change reality and bring Wake back at Cauldron Lake. I'll need the right work of art, but that won't be a problem. I wonder if we know any artists uh, of some kind. Well, we know someone trying to write a manuscript. I've got it now. Uh, more I just the, need to uh, tell the others what to do and fix everything. <laughs> I know, I know. Good. They, so like, act five, story, unexpected right? crossover. That hasn't changed. So here's what I have. Wake's still trapped in the dark place, under the lake. I think we can use the clicker to get him out. But first, we need a work of art. Something other than his story. And that'll get him here. I'm not filling out the paperwork for this one. I wouldn't know where to start. But I'm sold. It's okay, I'm hey. doing all the paperwork. Look, this feels like something that once we get the ball rolling, there's no turning back. You sure you have it all figured out? This is the beginning of the end game. To travel to Cauldron Lake, you need to save your game first. Uh, exploring and traveling to other areas will be limited if you choose to continue. Not just yet. Give me a moment. Okay, Anderson. No, okay, so do we... I think we still have some stuff to play as Alan Wake, ready. right? Yeah. yeah. That would be funny. Try and finish the game and Wake's just not there yet. Time to find a slippery puddle and fall through the floor. Anybody seen one I like emotionals about? Who knows? If it's not one thing, it's the other. I think they've got the Costco brothers locked up in there. Has Anybody seen one I like emotionals about? Who knows? They must be taken. Put them down. It says they're open. What day of the week is it? Like some days they would close at six. No, the sign is lit up. Huh? Yeah. Fair. They might have forgotten to turn it off. Hang on. We're missing a lot. Not really. No? That's not your car. It's a cop car. You're not a cop.
Oh, that is rain. I thought I heard water. I like how old. Yeah. I like how all these people are outside on this absolutely miserable day. Uh, I'm guessing they heard all the commotion. Yeah, but like, would you go outside and stand in the darkness during a deep fog when you've heard a lot of gunshots? I don't know. Feel I wouldn't. If you're bored, towns people, maybe. Oh. <laughs> going to the lake and then you think a stupidly horrible idea. Well, that's where we need to go. No, we're not going to the lake. Uh... No, uh, like Pony Heart uh, mentioned that. Oh. And then I just, that's what I added to the end. We're gonna go to the lake, sees. Meet Mayor so... Center at Sumi Hall. I do believe this is. And now, the sheriff's station? Did you hear? Hear what? Apparently. They locked up that crime writer, you know. Oh! So just right Hello, Mayor Setter. They find him. Nice to meet you. All hell breaks loose. Big city broke. The FBI. Famous writers. He's gonna be rough on crime! Hey, all. Hey. Oh, Mayor Setter's charm. Lists all the nearby resources and stuff. Yeah. Neat. I figured that was way easier than, uh... Cross-referencing the collectibles guide. Well, nope. we still need to go everywhere, but oh yeah. Have you touched that skull on top of the uh, the map yet? What skull on top of the map? Yeah, right beside the stage. Like, zoom out and look at the stage of the dog, and then, you know, to the left of that. And Mornwelk, a uh, redeemed pet. I'm confused. So, like, look left, look up. I thought there was a skull on the wall. There's a snowshoe. Uh... No, no, I can't. I, 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 no, I, I saw the wrong thing. It's Loser. Fine. It's fine. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> Well, that's the cutest mare I've ever seen, for sure. Time to go for a jog. Jog through the woods, late at night. It's good times. We might even be able to get our feet sweat. Page of manuscript. The dark presence attacks. Bailey ran around the corner as the street lamps flickered and went off. It was in front of him, a glitching cloud, a dark, boiling monster. Looking at it felt like what a stroke must feel like. He was sick with fear. He fell. The dark presence ripped into him, swallowed him, filled his lungs and his brains with dark water. Bailey saw a snarling face in the darkness. Then he realized it was his own face. He was snarling. He was standing in the street in the dark, and he was snarling. He was snarling, he snarled. The monster was gone. The darkness coiled around him in tatters and wisps. He was the monster now filled with rage. He was the monster now filled with rage, he shouted. That's so meta. Mm-hmm. Some real strange news, I hear. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hmm. I suppose you're right. As long as they don't come and disturb our sauna nights, we'll be fine. Oh. 
Okay. Is it me or did my health and ammo just appear? Huh? I'm sure that's nothing to worry about. Just don't worry about it. It's fine. It's it's just a just an indicator. It, it's because the screen was too dark. They wanted to put some bright things on the screen. It prevents your eyes from getting too hurt and strained. Pony hearts. Yeah, no, that 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 one is a classic. Right up there with. Oh, that's a lot of. Yeah. Oh, what you say? Oh. I love when he reached the page that's described him reaching for the page or reaching the page where he uh, reached the page that described him reaching for his page. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I also it's... loved when he reached for his uh, hip flask when he reached the line about how he reached for his hip flask. Uh. It was pretty good. The booze didn't make his head spin. Uh. Good that we have lots of room in our collectible box to put all the stuff we don't need. Shut up. Uh. Go ahead. We'll just, just throw flares on the ground, man. Just throw them on the ground. You just don't care. We could probably take some drugs right now. True. Heal up. What uh. if he needs them later? I think we're good on needing things later at this point. You know what we need right now? Another row to our inventory. We'll find it. That's what you know what we need? We need a fully automatic sawed off shotgun. Uh, I feel like I was that gonna is, grab something, yeah. but I can't remember what. Yeah, Saga looks like she can handle a uh three round uh three round burst of of uh Buckshot. It's fine. Just need to put a bull pup on that shotgun and you're good to go. A bull pup, maybe a maybe a laser sight sight and you know what else could you put on the thing? couple side rails like maybe like a, a side rail crossbow yeah it's just you got options and a bayonet of course because you can never go wrong with a bayonet gives you that melee option couple of flashlights yeah yeah a silencer eh, possibly possibly i was thinking like like a soda can silencer Oh, maybe an oil filter, an oil filter silencer, maybe. Sir. Need to find the key. Prison cell key. No. Hey, hey! If you just have one copy of every single different type of cut of key for that keyhole, eventually you'll be able to get in there. It just take a little while. Get louder that way they can't hear you if you're deaf. If they're deaf, why would you need, need a key? You have a shotgun. Hey, hey, these are shotgun-proof doorknobs. They are resistant up to uh, up to double lot slug. Bruh. 
Are there some arrows we need to follow to find a key? No, worse. It's in the 22nd uh, cult stash you find, whichever one that is. Uh... <sighs> Get in there. Yeah. Sledgehammersburg 2 says, uh, uh, Bully Snake. Hey, hey, Pretzel. You mean you don't have level 4 protection for your basic cabin doors? Like, what are you doing? It's also got self-healing polymer, so you can't, like, just keep shooting through it eventually and eventually get through it. Well, hey, uh, you don't need to find a cult stash because the cult found you. Or at least the Taken did. Hey, free truck. It's been abandoned. Not all of us can afford to keep our doors at armor class 25 plus. And the windows are the best bulletproof glass known to get mad as well, as well I bet. You kids oh. don't know how lucky you got it. Well, absolutely. They're, they're solid pieces of transparent aluminum. Back in my day, we just had to nail 18 doors together. If we want. Hey, hey, I, I played... Uh, what game was that? Uh, oh, it was a really terrible game. Uh, two Worlds. I played the original Two Worlds before they patched it. And you know how you made the best weapon in the game? At level zero, you killed as many enemies as possible without leveling up. And they always dropped wooden clubs. And then you would just literally duct tape all of the wooden clubs together. And they would eventually be stronger than the end game weapon. More yeah. of those kids' lunchboxes. The reason for that is because end game weapons had a very low spawning chance. And wooden clubs had a very high spawning chance at level zero. You can overcome adversity and achieve your goal. Yep, yep. You could also, with enough effort, get infinite stats at level zero by just sucking down enough uh, alchemy, but yeah. Found all the lunch boxes hidden around watery. more items were saved uh. yay remember only pick up the good ones why that <laughs> quantity or quality over quantity buddy quality over quantity fuck your bike lock it's a national emergency so this is why my bike lock chain uses 40,000 pound test uh, tow rope chain. They'll get it cut. They'll just have to call a guy is the problem. When they wanted to cut it at the place that I bought it from, it took them five minutes with the acetylene torch. Nice. Yeah, I, I know it was safe because I, I leave my lock, or at least the chain part of my lock, locked up to, my, uh, to the bike rack. And the facility Another staff time. don't take it off, even if I don't lock my bike up for a couple months. Because it's just too hard to get off. It also is like 70 pounds of chain, too, so. Are you... Did you hit the door? No, I went through him. He hadn't had collision enabled yet. Okay, because it kind of looks like you hit the door frame. Yep, and he also dropped an item. No, but loot! Sounds like he's to your right. There he is! I can't tell if that was a... Did 
Goose, Goose says it happens. Sometimes I forget to turn uh, collision on collision myself. You know, this is pretty unfortunate that all of them drop stuff. Like, that's... Oof. I thought we were doing okay right now. Oh, there's a container. A literal face-off moment. Lieutenant Dan, you ain't got no face. You ain't got no honor either. Mercury Alpha, now I can eat my daily ice cream. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can't knock those ones into the water, though. The blue ones you can. No. Okay. You're not going to get that. Are you going to go for that dash? Yeah. Right there. Okay. You just need to pat, uh, cast clairvoyance, and then you can see where uh, where it is. You can tell it's a very like uh, strong enemy because he's holding up really dark fight. was that? Uh, that was a major piece of cranial trauma. Alright, let's take five, guys. Yeah, Mercury Alpha. Al uh, apple pie with some vanilla on top. Nice. I'm taking rocket. Mm, fair enough. And I don't want to have to figure out how to use those. Auto, an auto fire pump action, huh? Also, I just realized the it checkpointed to before. How, where am I? Or the dog? There was no dog, huh? What do you mean? Oh, like, so we got the, we have Mayor Setter's charm? Oh, yeah, we have that, but it checkpointed to before I picked up the, uh, lunchbox. Hmm. Ugh, why are these ones all so fucking quiet, huh? Look for the mirror. Whoa. Hmm. Not sure what to tell you, buddy. Well, it's stupid. Huh? Oh well, we'll be back in a few minutes. You grew up nice and sheltered with mama's pretty stories and your own made up fury. And mama gave me a magic clicker. Well, yes, I think it's true and fair to say. Yeah, ca caffeine withdrawal kind of sucks. That's why I don't uh, try caffeine anymore. It, it is, I've become way too sensitive to it. Like a, a cup of strong black tea and I didn't sleep for like 60 hours. So you 
Of crime and chilling thrillers, of hard boiled killers became bestsellers. It was all too much, I had to get away. Pretzel Bomber, that sounds hilariously uh, heavy. So sad, but true. What's sad but true? Uh, that Dark Shades could never save the day, of course. Mm. Maybe they just weren't dark enough. That's why we need a recoilless shotgun there, Bully Snake. They've made recoilless rifles, why not make a recoilless shotgun? Oh, I don't know. Physics? Uh... I mean, don't worry about physics. It's not fizz, fizz not isn't, it's fizz is it. Physics. My head hurts, uh. It's fine. Baby, 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 yeah, orange peel. What happens if we make a truth in advertising recoilless rifle and then make a truth in advertising recoilless shotgun? Just yeah. shoot a bullet behind you as soon as you shoot a bullet forward. See, instant, recoilless. Yeah. I hear ducks. Theoretically, Bully Snake, I'd agree with you.
I don't like it. Uh, we might be able to kill ourselves with it. No, no, we just bounced it on our uh, on our chin. Shame. Gotta, we just gotta rub that right at eye level. Just bounce it off our head. More meant I was unnerved by the fact that it was swinging us. Eh, doesn't take much wind to have those things swing. Swing. That's just a semi-automatic shotgun, huh? No, I, I think uh, Metal Starblade is talking about that one that was in uh, that Zach uh, talked about a little while back that had like the crazy complicated mechanism. Ah. Uh. More of those kids' lunch boxes. Alex Casey is a totally a kid's character. Mm-hmm. opened on this side. Yeah, like the one the one that I'm thinking of is the one where like the bullet had to be rotated up into the uh, chamber. Please tell me that thing lasts forever. Why not? I'll tell you it lasts forever. If I'm if I don't know if I'm right or not, but I can tell you that. No problem. What a useless little room. Ah, I, I remember which gun it was that Zach was talking about. The G11. Another rhyme. You know, the the old rhyme. man who could not see had no kids of his own. So he cared for a fawn not yet grown. For the de deer for him was dear and filled his life with love. So the old man, that's the... So there's got to be a deer at the heart, or... Yeah, and the old man is a C. The old man could not see. Yeah, so just put an old man at C. There is no C. Well, I'm out, I am all out of idea. Nope. Is there an old man doll, not a wise elder? No. No. Uh, put the old man on the eye. He can't see. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm gonna be mad if that's the answer. Yeah, yeah. He can't see! Uh. <laughs> that's because someone's standing on his eyeball. Remember to police your uh, cartridges. Don't want to be caught for uh, unlicensed firearm use. Hey, free bullets. Bullets. A charm for my bracelet. Oh. Decent enough. Where is he? Remember, they're catter act, not catters can't act. It's like a play. Oh, I already see that. Yep. Did they just not spawn those giant dudes this time? Could be you didn't, like, walk right over the right trigger. 
Could be also you died and then reloaded and they didn't want to spawn them. Hey, free bottle of alcohol. Uh, it's, uh... Hey, Ziggy, welcome to flipping the table with me and uh, the other guy. We're here to talk shit and, uh... Newt's shooting guns in-game, but I'm just talking shit. No, nah, no, nah, we're, we're playing Alan Wake, and uh, it's going pretty decent. We finally picked up something that's going to help us uh, get a good chunk of the collectibles, which is nice. Where's the doggy? You mean the two doggies? You booped it in the snoot. Just a boop in the snoot, uh, Ziggur. See, it, it walked it off. It even, you know, it even like just made noises, happy noises even. See, it's purring. Don't you hear that nice rumbling purring? I am expert marksman. Uh. Yep. Okay, Mo said nine millimeter kills the body. 45 ACP kills the soul. These things have no soul, so 9mm works. Nice. It wouldn't be us if we didn't shoot the noises wildly in the dark. Hey, 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 it was just a warning shot. It was just a warning shot. Just the center of mass warning No dogs shot. allowed, uh. Yeah. He's allergic, you see. Saga has that government issue flashlight. You can tell because the battery lasts more than two minutes of sustained use. Oof. You guys understand that they're like supercharging it magically, but it goes through a lot of energy, right? Uh... Yeah. Uh, Metal Starblade. Uh, Alan Wake is. Ah, um... oh, I forgot. We used to. I used to know how to describe it, but it's not coming to mind right now. What about you, Newt? How would you describe Alan Wake too? I think he's asking about Alan Wake and Jack. No, he he asked if it resembled a, uh, Resident Evil. Yeah, but he's asking. I think he's asking about the series as a whole, though. Yeah. And, so, but how what, how would you describe it? I'm not good at describing it, so I'm not going to try. Uh, okay. Darn it! Our, our words are just not coming tonight. Um, kind of light horror slash puzzle solving slash. So much of a departure from the first game. That... Yeah, there, there's a little bit of like SCP Foundation thing going on, except with the Control universe. Uh. Yeah. yeah, Ziggy Fool. I, I, I'm just saying. I love how games always have wolves just casually ignoring being shot and not making for the fucking hills. <laughs> They're magic, my dude. Uh, You're not wrong. What? Nobody gets the... I just scared the crap out of my cat. Uh. See, and you didn't even need to fire a warning shot. Yeah. I mean, Resident Evil set in a light version of the SCP Foundation universe would be... There'd be a lot of amnesiacs going on. Uh, yeah, Pretzel Bomber wants you to uh, pet your cat now. He redeemed a pet. Well, he's gonna have to wait until the next break. I'm not getting up. Uh... Uh, it's a pet redeem. Even if I did, it would just make it harder. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I, mean, I have expectations. You're going to pet your cat. 
expectations. Uh, it does have a fairly nice aesthetic. There's a lot of like, there's a lot of musical undertones, a little bit of meta -com commentary on uh, the production of art and what art is. Plus, it's got yes, which is a big, big selling point for new. We're not Nickel Tree. Nickel Tree is the best band ever. You've probably never even heard Nickel Tree. I haven't. Exactly. So how would you know? Well, because they're, not, po they're not poets of the fall. <laughs> oh. Oh, right. It's the... F <laughs> Scared by the fucking uh, flow, uh. Mm -hmm. Where's this freaking container I'm supposed to, you know? I mean, there was something by the stage over there. The yes, table. but yeah, but it's not. A, no, that's not. That's just a thing we've already read. We've been here, remember? Oh, a container in the corner. Um, check in the bucket. No, in the, in the garbage can bucket. There's another bucket! Uh, <laughs> you just made two buckets out of one bucket. It just exploded into bucket. Oh, well, it's not important enough, huh? It's not one of the 22 stashes we need? No. Okay. It, I wonder if you bump into that bucket again, will you get another bucket? Just infinite spawning bucket. You've solved the world's uh, reliance on petroleum. You've found a glitch that just spawns buckets. Buckets. Come in buckets. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Buckets are being reproduced by mitosis. <clears throat> hey, hey, mathematicians have proved that if you cut a shape into infinitely many tiny pieces and then reassemble it, you can reassemble it into two of the same shape. That's rounding, though, I bet. Nope. Nope. It is sadly not rounding. It it's is, not. Uh, it doesn't work in reality. Ah, uh, that's that's the bad part. It, it technically does. It doesn't though. It's not replicable. Uh. Well, we can't replicate it, but it like it is not invalid with what we know of physics. Then the physics is wrong, my. Eh, not necessarily. Why? Because you can't increase the. And then you can, but, I mean, but then the rule's invalid. Uh, there was a big bang that massively increased the amount of matter in the universe. No, all the mass was in was contained in one tiny little thingy. Uh, uh, not that we know of. Yeah. Yeah. That's how. That's li another cult stash. That's literally the big bang theory. Uh. <laughs> not a big bang theory. It just says mass came from a point. It has no definition of what happened before that. <laughs> Someone is angry that we're discussing this. So he decided to do mitosis himself. It just went really poorly. Oh God. <laughs> the Banaxi and our schedule line now available from Home Depot. Take advantage for our two-for-one deal soon. Physics might just prove it. Thank you, Prince of Palmer. Ah, uh, that gave me a chuckle. Hey, Mayor Emperor, uh, only if your sword is infinitely sharp and folded 10,000 times. Okay, are you actually... I'm commenting with the people in Not that! Uh... And that there is a lot. Even a fucking kill, huh? There is a lot of them here, yeah. Oof. The Starblade, yeah, no, it's it's kind of rough. <laughs> I 
Uh, Pony Hearts, you're thinking of some people who tried to mess around with uh, animations and geometry, and that's not... That requires some bad, uh... uh well, it was a bad faith, uh, trick. What are these guys fucking made of? Uh... A lot. They're made out of a lot. They live. Not easily. Yeah, I'm not going through the entire fucking map, huh? Is that what it's requiring you to do? Uh, no, because I'm searching the, uh, password, huh? Mm. Mm, fair. Well, we literally can't afford it, huh? Okay. Hey, Ziggy Fool, we all know this is the darkest timeline after Harambe died. I'm putting it in writing that Operation Bigger is Better is simply not possible from an engineering perspective. I know he loves his crazy ideas, but his schematic looks like a damn comic book. Jar Charlene drew it for him, didn't she? It can't be done. Uh. Mm -hmm. We tried to put it back on the right track, Ziggy, with Bodie McBoatface, but that failed. It's a big cup of coffee. Oh man, they should totally have a competition to see who can drink the most coffee in the show. So that wasn't there time. before, right? Uh... No, it was not. Yeah. See, like a food eating competition, but it's coffee. More splody. Whoever can drink like three liters of coffee the fur the fastest wins. Game is stressful sometimes. So. That's a hole. I don't remember that hole being there. Yeah, it was there. I forgot was what it? we did down there. The bunker. So I was talking with uh, my landlord recently about, um, oh yeah, this is where the Cult of the Deer thing happened. Yeah. Um, there's games that let you climb ladders faster by jumping up them. What are some recent games that do that? Uh, the, whatchamacallit, um, Middle Earth series. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, the yeah, free, no, the right. free running one. Uh, yeah. Shadows of Mortar. Yeah, Shadows of but... Assassin's Creed. Most recent Assassin's Creed game. Yeah, I've, I've never played the Assassin's Creed. I think the last game in that vein that I played was Prince of Persia, so. Like the old school one. 
There's a lot of loose well tanks around in this uh, building. It's a pie, but there's no ice cream on it. There's also a lot of lo loose like basketballs that are fully inflated. Which is kind of scary when you think about it, because like usually if people just leave a bunch of basketballs and volleyball sitting on the ground, they're they're mostly like half inflated at best. But these ones are all like fully inflated, which which means people use them regularly, but they just decided to leave them as tripping hazards. But then again, we know if Stasha or Saga here found one, you know those little carts that they used to use in high schools and whatnot. They would carry like twenty five volleyballs on. They had like little rollers and, and like uh, racks on both sides to hold a whole bunch of a um, whole bunch of them. If Saga found one, she would just push into it and just knock them all onto the ground. We know this. All oh, right, it's the broken machine. I forgot. Just keep turning. Just keep turning. Those are good engine noises. Especially. Yeah, yeah that, that means that means something really good is going on in the motor. It's, yeah. yeah. It's making it's making many many fine pieces of metal out of one continuous piece. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Hey, they remember what you say, Metal Star Blade. A gallon of coffee a day keeps, uh... <laughs> is not nearly enough. Yeah. Sorry, I pronounce... Uh, sorry, Ziggy. I pronounce English like a, like, like a second language speaker. <laughs> I used to be part of a bicycle game, gang named uh, Hell's Angles until the Hell's Angels sent us a de uh, cease and desist letter. No, then no, they seriously did. Oh. We uh, we stopped. We we absolutely stopped. Okay, today is the day where uh, the dogs are out to play. Yeah, our our, uh, our stated goals on our Facebook page were to uh, enjoy cycling around the city and math. Yep. No, no, it was, it was absolutely that. We, we started doing critical masses in my city. All bicycle clubs eventually turned to making math. Uh... Ow. Let it a little... T yeah. If you, if you hadn't, when it jumped up to try and scratch you, you could have gotten it right in the belly. Hey, free shirts. You got it right in the tail. He's on the other side of that, isn't he? Don't worry about that big shadow there. I'm sure, it's nothing important. No dog directly to your right. No, never mind. There isn't. It's just a shadow on the inside of the door. Okay. The, the light switch is just is just not working. We're safe. There should be like a mini like a mini game like a mini uh, Easter egg here that if you sit inside the coffee cup, you get more energized. And then you find out, like, right at the end of the game, the reason why the coffee uh, coffee park was so fa uh, so famous and so many people did, did there, they aerosolized cocaine into the air. Oh, uh, yeah. One does. It, it perks people up. Perks people That's up. cost effective. Uh. <laughs> uh, Metal Star, do you mean... Uh, uh, 40 to 50 kilometers or miles per hour? Because, like, I can usually keep up on my cycle 
40 kilometers an hour without too much difficulty. And man, it is so much more, it feels so much better than being in a car. Our setter will speak, eh? Oh man, you should totally. Oh man, that would have been a great, uh, a great prompt at the do... at the uh, when we met the dog to ask him to speak. It would be. Speak, boy, speak. And then it says in a deep baritone voice, "What do you want?" The percolator. Hey there, TK. Having a good evening. We're we're doing pretty good. We're making some progress. Uh, I'm missing one. Mm hmm. It's probably in there. Well, let's see. We'll go to the ranger cabin in the radio tower and. Okay. Yeah. Metal Star, no, that, that is fair. They do take up a fair bit of space, and then you've got the supplies to keep them in good running order, and then a third of the year, at least, you can't use it, depending on the weather, and, 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 like, I totally get that. Although I will say that my current bike is more valuable to me than my car. So, I am a, I mean, I, I, I paid, I usually pay more for a gas fill up than what I paid for this car. Is the previous owner, yeah, the, the previous owner managed through amazing driving technique to damage, scrape, bend, uh, bend or crack every single body panel other than the roof oh yeah no i am absolutely filthy cyclist like usually i have to change clothes if it's a, it's been a wet rhymes. day yay Read. a devil with a prize lured by the lured animals too to his shiny boat boat hitch his boat all shiny and new who would float and who would sink asked the devil with a wink the moose went splash the deer sailed on but which one of them was therefore gone so the moose in the water and the deer on the boat uh, and the devil the third one devil with a wink the devil had a prize uh... yeah okay yes nice Jesus. Ziggy, at least three of the panels had uh, holes punched in from other people's uh, trailer hitches. Can never have too many charms. Literally do. Mr. Drippy Charm. Increases damage dealt to enemies, I think. Uh, yeah, or something like that. Yeah. Or on low health. Uh. Ah. Well done! You found the last puzzle box. I think that is all the collectibles, except maybe a uh, deer thing up there. No. Yeah. 
My biggest hope uh, for the car is that it survives up until I can get to the meetup uh, this year at Location Redacted. That's not Location Redacted, huh? The, well, one the no other Location Redacted is the other one. True. Yeah. I guess. Uh... Hi! It wasn't even angry at you, you just walked up to it. And shot it, and now it's, and it's stupid dog. Of last breaths on the ground. I just don't like. Guess what? My favorite part of Old Yeller is. Is it the? Is it the? Uh, is it his fluffy fur being rubbed by the children? Yeah, thought as much. You know what this theme park needs? You know how like, some places have water bottles set out for everybody? Yeah. Have coffee bottles. You know, just water bottles where the water was dumped out, filled up with coffee, set out everywhere to rehydrate people. But only have the one uh, set of washrooms, but they're pay to enter. Coffee's rehydrating, you know. Yeah. Yeah, ha ha have the Porta Johns have a $2 entry fee. Coffee with milk is especially rehydrating. What happens if you add more, uh, what happens if it's like a heavier milk? Like instead of just like 0%, it's like 1 or 2 or 3%. Fat keeps the water in your body or in your stomach. What happens if we use half and half absorb. then? Huh? What about whipping cream? Can we use whipping cream? Yes, but so so not adding just a, like a half pound of butter. <laughs> but remember, there's flavor in them butter. I'm actually a fairly good canner. Uh, of my last batch with boil bath canning, I only lost one jar out of 45. Nice. Yeah. <clears throat> Although I definitely made too many to cans of tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Way too many cans of tomatoes. Next year, I'm not going to make near as many. I am going to see, though, if I can can peppers. Like pureed uh, pepper sauce, and like and like uh, half cup jars, because well, I'll we'll find out. Uh, Zuki, um, free public washrooms. Uh, you can actually uh, are like a, are kind of a North American thing. A lot of other places in the world, it's pay to enter uh, washrooms. Um, Vec. Uh, Vec Vecron, it's a lot easier to can them in pressure canning. You can pressure, you can water bath can them. You just need to add the acidity. So I just usually add two tablespoons of vinegar per quart. Because they already. Well, yeah, the, the acidity actually helps prevent botulism. But yeah, you want to get the pH down to around four and vinegar. A lot of people use lemon juice, but I don't like the taste of lemon. So I just use vinegar and about twice as much and it works out. Uh, Metal Star, that is totally fair. Same with abandoned factories and a lot of those, like, abandoned places people explore. It's just, like, uh, they're sketch. Huh, interesting to know, Ziggy Fool. I, I, I don't recall that rhyme, but interesting to note that, like, that used to be the case in North America, too. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't do whole or crushed tomatoes. I usually do uh, can, make a sauce and I can the sauce out of them. I, I do want to be clear on that. Yeah, I because uh, I like my um, I usually like pre cook them right down, like almost caramelize them before I, I can them. So because that makes making chili and butter chicken down the line a lot faster. That's my major goal. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense, Ziggy. Um, yeah, like, oftentimes one reason they say you shouldn't water bath can them instead oh. of pressure canning them. Neat! Upgraded crossbow. Is, uh, like, let, let, let's say for uh, meat stock or bone broth. It'll cause the... Uh, it'll stock, ca I was there, man. Yep. Yeah. It'll cause the... Uh, 
when you make it acidic, it'll cause the calcium uh, to precipitate out, which a lot of people don't like. I thought you just spend half an hour in the toilet. Gotta use up them other consumables first. Oh, nice. Well, hopefully this crossbow is less than four long. We already get this crossbow. We already yes. got this crossbow. This game be jank. Oh. I thought it was like an upgraded crossbow. Like a recursive 500 pound draw crossbow with a hand crank and like. No, no, no. Not even a hand crank. And it comes with like a second guide. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a, a foot crank. And we get Todd from Todd's workshop to help us uh, figure out how to use it. He just stands by us the whole time, telling him, well, this was a uh, replica 1345 uh, lever action crossbow. Lever action crossbow? Uh. No, I'm not kidding. Like, a lot of crossbows used to use a lever action. <laughs> it, it, looks, it looks kind of funky. And they weigh, like, 15 pounds. The Pope wants to know your location. Yep. Yep. If they weren't so expensive, I'd try and uh, get more into crossbows, but I do not have the money for it. Money is expensive, huh? It, it is. There you go. So, random, random factoid, uh, on um, recursive crossbows and bows, they've got the pulleys on the limbs, right? Everyone's kind of familiar with that? At least vaguely? You know. Well, nonetheless, they have like little pulleys on the limb, limb to help improve the... Um, uh, somehow add more mechanical advantage to improve the draw strength. I don't know how, but that is how it is. The pulleys are non-circular. They're more like a egg-shaped because this helps uh, magnify your draw strength. Because at the start, it's easy, and then as it as it gets easier to bend it, it makes the oval works against you uh, to make it uh, a little harder to draw. Yeah, yeah, you, you do get a higher draw weight for the same limb length, which is nice, too. I think it's also easier to draw Vecron? Vec Vec Vectron, so if I'm not mistaken. Right down there in Bright Falls? Oh. Speak. Speak, boy. Speak. He's such a good boy. Uh, he's just sitting there. And he has a... He doesn't blink, either. He doesn't blink, and he has a... Uh, hasn't been fixed. Well, Red Dead Redemption went there first. What are you doing? I have a penis. I get fixed. You go to a really cheap vet. I swear to God, I just see a saw Atty sitting there for a second. Uh, <laughs> I must be losing it. Uh. Yeah, that sounds about right, Ziggy. Yeah. A penis. Uh, we've been looting collectibles, Lord Grimace, and we also died horrifically to two burly guys with, uh, side, signpost, uh, maces. Usually you have to pay money to see something like that, uh. Yeah. Yeah. 
Thaga got the mother of all cranial contusions. Uh, they were kind of like they were they were maybe the Bjork twins. Bjork. 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 Okay, now we're going to Cauldron Lake in the middle of the night. Uh, we just had to get our uh, we had our, we had to get our five k uh, steps in. No, we had to get Setter's blessing. Well, we also had to get our five k steps in. Got to warm do that cardio warm up. She's 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 realizing after all this time running from the uh, cultist, she's not done enough cardio. Jump scare. I do not. We got all them flares. I guess, but I think I'm supposed to use those for, uh... Every encounter can be a boss if you just believe. By the words of Shepherd Book, just, just believe. I don't care what you believe, just believe. I just got turned around, that's all. Doorknob. Obviously it's the doorknob. Obviously. Here. It's the doorknob the we've been cunt. carrying around for like six hours. What do you mean I can't shove it open? Huh? This people. Okay, okay. We're 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 not gonna go to uh, anime high school. Anime high school has no tone in uh, crossover with this. I hope. Hey, data. Some weird animal one. tried to break into our clubhouse. It was scary. Max hit it off with a big stick and it ran away. I think it was a squirrel before. Hey, look on the piece of paper at the top. What does that say? Gaia? It says day two. So it does, uh... <laughs> uh day three. Our candy stash has gone missing. Maybe it was the squirrel. Day six. Max found candy wrappers in the wood. There were some big poops there. It wasn't the squirrel. Day seven. Max has gone missing. Sad face. Beware the wicked witch rules. One person is the wicked witch. Two. Everyone else has to run and hide. Three. When the witch says, beware me, everyone has to change places. Four. If you go to someone else's hiding place, you can tag them to kill them. Five. Don't get tagged and killed. Six, if the Wicked Witch finds you, you're dead. Seven, if you find the witch's lair, she is caught. Eight, burn the witch! Oh. With flames around the uh, letters. Yeah. I mean, the power of overwhelming force is uh, is powerful. That, that, that children's uh, playground equipment toy looks like a death trap. I approve. I remember when all those that playground equipment was still allowed. Ziggy fool, there is only open fire and reload. Yep. Yeah, monkey bars that if you didn't if you fell off and you didn't hit three bars on the way down, you were lucky. Yeah. I still managed to uh twist my ankle. You know those little um, eye beams that had the rollers that you kind of held onto and like slid slid over the gap. Hey. At my, I remember at my uh, elementary school there was one of them that was elevated like twenty feet in the air. Oh my god, I love that. Yeah. Dancing, Adi and the janitors. 
Ooh, that's a pretty heavily redacted one, isn't it? Uh, looks like. Animals stayed away from the water's edge as if to avoid some unseen submerged predator waiting just below the dark surface. They never drank the water from the lake. Birds flew around it, never over. Darkness flowed from Cauldron Lake. Gaze in the black mirror of the lake, you'd see it all around you, and you'd understand. It was already out, already where you were. It was already too late. Cauldron Lake used to be alive with people. Beautiful forests, hiking trails leading to stunning vistas. Then the government put up a fence, kept the people out. Volcanic gas, they said. They didn't want anyone knowing the truth. The lake wasn't a lake at all. The dark water a mask to hide the hungry, bottomless ocean below. A fence couldn't stop the flood that was coming. Nothing could. The return of the nightmare rising from the depths. Uh, thanks, Ziggy Fool, for ten gift subs. Jeez. Wow, way to go. You are a champ. Another one of those gold boxes. Is I'm not puzzle? going on a. F oh, I have to. It's it's a key. Let's see here. Let me like, zoom in. I'm gonna take a photo of this with my phone. Cause fuck it. I feel like we're gonna find it if we explore, no matter what. Okay. You got a picture? Not yet. Okay, so we got to go to the twister, and we got to go to the castle, and then we got to go over the bridge. Oh, uh, yes, of cave, course. Huh? To the house, past the giant dead deer that did we... You, did were... you get a screenshot? Uh... Yeah. But you remember that dead deer corpse we saw earlier? Huh. We just got to find the... Uh, the that was in watery. House. Oh. Hmm. Unless it's in this area somehow. Must property seizure notice. This property has been seized for being seizure inducing. It is an it is an SCP as by SCP jurisdiction. We recommend you do not eat lunch here. Maybe if you go around the other side? <clears throat> they got a big bathroom brush there. <clears throat> Here we see a standard SCP investigator breaking into facilities. It is the best way to supplement your income. And because we don't box. pay you. His hair was longer than I remember, gently blowing in the cool night breeze. I put my hand to his cheek to confirm that he was indeed real. And he was. He was real. Feeling his handsome beard, wild but neatly trimmed beneath my fingers, proved it. You're back, I breathed. Yes, I'm back. I wasn't cold anymore. We got wow. fragments of a manuscript. Yay! I'm gonna yeah, the door rearrange that... them for Mad Libs. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Background. Yeah, it's the door that's half glass. It's locked from the other side. I see. No you way. Mag in. Light. So I, I'm not really sure why that's an issue. Well, you see, this is that bulletproof glass that we just can't get through. It, it's made of like, I don't know, 15 inch thick uh, transparent aluminum, or 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 better, it's it's concrete with a television. And, like, uh, you know that transparent body armor that soldiers sometimes wear? It's got that on the door. That's how you see through it. Yeah. It has, like, an eye tracking software, so it matches, like, parallax. Yeah, yeah. It, it's actually just, like, a solid steel war with screens on either side that, that, uh, change their picture depending on where you are in relation to the door. It's very advanced technology. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah. 
Her poor From shoulder. My fantastically advanced. It's zero. It's zero o'clock? Yeah. Has the clock run, rung zero? How many bells does it ring when it goes zero o'clock? I don't know. All the clocks are zero, though. Another rhyme. Like how we just keep checking the bathrooms. There's nothing in any of them. No. Bird. Okay. Our hero, courageous and true, stalked by the monster hatchling through. The clever crows call their warning and keep an eye on the battle forming. When the fight is done and over, the hero and the crows reap the rewards left for her. So, the hero on the treasure... But what about the crows? Uh... On the eye. Yeah, I'm not sure where the monster goes, though, yet. Uh... Monsters hatching. Yeah. Call. Makes sense. No, it doesn't, but whatever. Who cares? Furs watching you like in that movie, but protective, not attacking. Uh, mythical inspiration, guardian spirits, Norse mythology, or ancient Egyptian. Corvus Corax from the family Corvidae, research symbolism and uses. Uh, elements, stalking monster, watching birds. Uh, stakes can't be too high for both risk management and fruitful outcomes. Make sure the rhyming is looser this time. Need to test this approach for possibly more ambiguous interpretational results. Metal Starblade, remember, sometimes sometimes the only way in is through the hull. I mean, the, the wall. And the birds were evil last game. Yep. Just they sh Why are they not still evil? Oh, no. They're, re they're um, talking about them in um, fairy tales, uh, in general. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Archetypes and such. Also, uh, fun fact, blue jays are a Crows. species of crow. Yep. Corvidae. Although they're one of the dumber species of crows. Very devoted parents, though. Mm -hmm. I know that from The Simpsons. So. I know that because they sometimes nest in the ladders at work, and it's a right pain moving their nests when we need to use the ladder. But there's... We usually use one of the high school students because they remember who moved it, and we prefer not to be the. Um, uh, we prefer to be someone who isn't there all the time. Save her. Send her sick. Problem solved. Yep. Turn your flashlight off, otherwise, we'll see you. Hello, neighbor. How's it going today? Hey, it's it's Bjork. How's it going today, Bjork? Why are you punching me? No. no. Right now. You let Logan drown. Are you serious? Gonna shut the door. I think he's dead. She really does not like using health health equipment. No. Nope. Look at that. Another charm. Yay. Oh. Witchfinder's station. I've been there before. Worth checking out. Warning. 
property of the Federal Bureau of Control, Department of Parafictional Research. Lead researcher, Dr. Campbell. Keep this container locked at all times. The test item is to be kept separate from the others, as well as a safe distance from the main testing facility, Witchfinder's Station. I found the all the dolls. dolls. Uh... You found all the dolls. Yay! Now we need to find, you know, rhymes that need five. <laughs> that part. Again, clearly, the half class door will save you some weird, six foot eight lumberjack motherfucker with an eight foot length and two inch pipe. Hey, What's hey, Vecra. Don't. Happen? Oh my god, she's fucking with Para. Yeah. Nice. Hey. The file says not to bring the doll to Witchfinder Station. Yeah. I must admit, I'm curious. Uh, Von Falkenstein? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, it is. Um, Vec. <sighs> Vecron, don't forget the big chunk of concrete on the end of this pipe, because it was a signpost. I'm in Cauldron Lake, right? I am. Uh... Yep. Hey, what what could go wrong? She even said that. Fine. It's all... What's that yellow dot? Uh, I'm going to go investigate it. There's Witchfinder Station. <sighs> <sighs> Eviction notice. Effective immediately. The Federal Bureau of Control has designated this area to be vacated as a matter of public health and safety. Failure to comply with this order is a federal crime, and will result in swift and forceful action as per code 0157-DE. Your compliance is appreciated. Cauldron Lake closed. Is your email hacker proof? Come on, let's not read all that. That's yeah. a bit much. Huh? <laughs> yeah, the door isn't going to slow him down. No, it should not slow him down. Hey, hey, hey. But what happens if you put that little uh, latch on the side of the door? You know, the one, the thing we used before deadbolts? Oh, uh, yeah. The chain latch? Yep. That should be able to stop that guy from De smashing through the door, right? I mean, it, it worked in The Shining. Jeez. At least until he brought out his, his axe and, you know, went right through the... Uh... Letterman! Yeah. The, uh, the hollow door. Hey, hey, just, just don't, just, just don't worry about the axe. The axe is, the axe is add-on content. The axe is a MacGuffin. Nobody, who really has an axe? Axes aren't real. Yeah. N nobody has, nobody can actually make an axe at home, so. Six. Two. I forgot what that's for. There's probably a third number, and it's a code for something. Oh, remember, we gotta find the, uh. Yeah, but it didn't need numbers, did it? No, uh, the, 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 look at your picture. Uh... Yeah, though that's a pair of trees. There's did no they? Trees. It has. Oh. They have numbers on it. Oh I no! Remember. It's at the base of the number two. It's at the base of the number two tree. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Loser. Well, you're the one playing the game. You should have remembered it. We... Mm -hmm. mm, yes. I, yeah, I can see a lot of things. No. <laughs> Six. What's, four. what's the, the two is behind you, I think. Uh, I don't think they're all in this area. Oh. Yeah. It would be awful if we had to do the exact path. Like some kind of dark place maze. Hey, free rocking chair. Do you think these people were paid to leave their homes with all of the stuff still inside of them? Oh, yes, of course, but also what was that? It was a letter. Oh. That's just where... Is that just a copy of the thing that's on the, uh... Absolutely. I mean, we all know birds are just robot robotic drones yes, made by the course. government to spy on people. What do you think our taxes go to? Mm -hmm. 
Why do you think they're called Canadian geese? You saw geese? that, right? Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you think they're called Canadian geese and not just geese? It's because they're made by the government of Canada. Okay, this one was actually pretty fun. Much better than the math tests. Huh? That's funny. I like the op I'm the opposite. Huh? There, there uh, was really not much to this one. Yeah. Uh, let's take our last five minute break, folks. Okay. In all honesty, um, usually you get paid a fair chunk of money uh, here in Canada if you get eminent domain. Like, you should reasonably expect um, two to five times what your value, your property is actually valued on. Like, it's a highball offer. Um, I've heard of people getting, though, like, 10 or 15. Hey, hey, hey. Vecron. Vecron. Let's, let's not talk about the reason why we have war crimes. First place. World War One. We, 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 Canadians did kind of bad stuff. We're not allowed to do that anymore. They had to say no. those days where we're thinking like, hey, what happens if we have rolling thunder but with poison gas? And then you're wondering, maybe we're the bad guys. Yeah, that that's not wrong either, uh, Starblade. We we shared all the choicest bits. Choicest. Mm-hmm.
I pet the cat not once, not twelve, but a dozen times. So. A baker's dozen? Not once, not twelve, but a dozen times. So. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hey! Time to sit in some nice, uncomfortable chairs. Ah, but can be as be good as a slumlord as Depp. Depp a slumlord? Haven't you been watching Depp's uh, Depp's build a house stream? Remember, it's not a slum. It's not a slum house. It's a slum home. For yes, I think uh. he's on his second house right now. I uh, wait. Unit inhabited by a single mother, her two ch You monster. Oh no, I let them stay. They just had to pay the $1,000 fine. Uh... <laughs> That's like a $7 a day rental? Uh, it is a $100 a day rental. Oh wow, yeah, because like Depp had to rent his for like $9 a day. Nice, this is The Sims 4, keep in mind. Uh... Oh, okay, okay. What do you mean I can't go through this gate? What? I remember, Saga has really weak bones. She can't actually lift herself. She can't do a pull-up. Yeah. She, she can't do a pull-up. She can, she can totally soak the recoil of, like, a double-barrel sawed-off shotgun, but she can't do a pull-up. Pull-up is too much. Hey, free binoculars. Those are valuable. You can do with a true Canadian upper class pastime. No, own homes that you're a slumlord for. Shame. Never mind, I'm just going to live in here now. <laughs> It was now it was once a house of dreams and now it is a house of lies. By Tex. Oh yes. Nice. Where though? Hmm? Oh, you're talking about the guy who's uh got the rumbly tumbly. Hey, hey, Nermetia, some of that piscrete had negative uh, strength. Yeah, yeah, and some of that. Some... Why? What do you mean why? I wanted vodkrete. Because uh... you can make that in that game. Ah. Uh... Yeah. You're talking like in real life then? I mean, it would be a... In Landlord Super, I wish you could make Vodkrete, but you... Ah, uh, I see. <laughs> you, you, don't worry, don't worry. I can fail you to communicate at the best of times. <laughs> Poor house suffers eternally. I don't know. I I like that the um, the TV is on a headboard above the bed, but sideways to it. I like that. Yeah, I, I like that in the room. That way, you know, you have to stand, watch the TV. Um. It is. That's the uh, Ferris wheel, isn't it? Uh. I guess so. Didn't want to read the sign? No. Fair. Someone should have raked up all these leaves. 
Or, you know, better yet, we get one of those, like, you know, those uh, air blowers. We just clean the path. Bring some nice ambiance to this. Uh... Yeah. Bring some nice ambiance to this this forest trail. Because what's a forest trail without a get like a like a two stroke gasoline engine just going chug 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 like continuously? Make sure to do it like really late at night too, when it's like really quiet out, so everyone can hear it for miles around. I grew up rural. I know what it's about. Hey, friends! It's them wood people. Got him. Go oh, to some... Yeah, yeah, he did. He, he dropped some loot. Oh, goody, an arrow. Awesome. Uh... It takes up another slot. Uh, Starblade. Uh, one thing that I'm a huge fan of actually here is uh, those mechanical lawnmowers. And uh, I wish we could mulch these cave goblins. We literally can't do. Yeah, there was one more drop further down when you killed one. Oh. Well, I mean, like, of those enemies you killed, uh, there was one more that dropped an item. No, I picked them all up. Oh, uh, oh okay. I thought there was one more. Okay, so... This is the shit they did in Control that pissed me off. Made it impossible right at the end. Guess we're taking all the arrows. Can we take a charm that improves the bow? Because we don't really need to spot things if we're going to be hitting enemies. Uh, there are no charms that improve the bow. Those are uh, upgrades in the room, remember? Mm, yeah, yeah.
I'm just thinking we could swap out the dog setter for like maybe an extra life just to use them up. Then I won't be able to find stuff, huh? Well, we could, like, the thing is, like, we could swap out that one uh, whenever we're looking for stuff. We are looking for stuff, huh? Uh, like, I, sorry, like, I'm, I'm thinking, like, we do combat with the one with the extra life equipped, and then as soon as that's done, we put the. I uh, can't, because that gives them more time to spawn stuff, huh? Okay. Quick save. The hut of the witch's place. Hey, sparkles. You got sparkles to the right. What, the water? No, like the rocks, uh, was, as you're moving around, they sparkle. It, like, as long as your flashlight's not on them. There be mica in these, them here hills. Minus, negative, oh, for minus 72 plus 62 plus 3. Math. Another cult stash? Rock tree tree. Are you bright enough? Rock rock tree. Oh, yeah, sorry. No, no, I am not. So 33, 33, so 66, and then tree. No, I'm not figuring out what that means. 62? So, 66 plus 62? Is it actually just... Is it... Uh... I think it's on the other side of the one uh, you're... Like, behind the one you're uh, to your back. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, it... it... That's the trick. Yeah, I know you've background. Yeah, you're right. Uh, lake. It wasn't a lake. This game isn't fun anymore. We're getting close to the end, I think, though.
Saga realized the crossbow could hold two shots at the same time. Had she just not noticed before? Or had the weapon changed somehow? Like in a dream? We'll never know. Mm-hmm. Hopefully it only takes one reload though. Oh my god, it even gra it gained a second limb set of limbs and uh, string and everything. We just didn't notice, that's all. Okay, so when we, when we come across the numbers, I want to I want to rate them down. No, I am cheating. Fuck it. Uh... Okay. Actually, look around. Uh. No, no, that's fair. I'm not faulting you for that. Faulting like more just the game design. Another yeah, cult stash. Enemies, huh? Fucking water room all over again, huh? Resident Evil Five flashbacks. Are you one of us or one of them? Uh, lighthouse key, finally. One of them, them good old boys. Is there anything on the ground beside that? No. It just looked like a little box of ammo. TK, Ziggy did a big old uh, sub blast, gift sub blast, just as he was uh, logging off. Bam, bam. Something, something, pie. I don't want to get taken Miriam down. Miriam and YouTube. Matt, thanks for the lovely hike. Patty came down from New York City and loved every minute of the trip. Lori and Bob, these paths have seen better days. Kev, nice view you got here. Kevin Lockhart, may I suggest adding some nice rest stops along the way? Read the camping, camping do's, do's and don'ts. Don'ts. From your friendly park ranger. Ranger Ted. Do, hike, and enjoy the scenery. Set up your tent. Enjoy a nice meal. Relax. Don't. Chop down trees. Do finger puppets with squirrel bodies. Leave your trash behind. Be loud and obnoxious. Start the forest fire. And remember, always have fun. Always have fire. Uh... Man, I, I always love those skits on the Red Green show with uh, uh, Firewatch guy. Uh, I think his name yeah. is Ted. Yeah, but he's so sad and lonely. Yeah, <laughs> and it would just always, it would always diverge. <laughs> Whatever the topic was about. About, like, his, his terrible social life. Every time. Yes. The screwdriver technique. I can't fault it, but I feel like there's a better way to do it. Uh... The bolt cutters. Or like... Faster and less... Or, or one thing that would work for both of those items is a crowbar. Oh yeah, Ranger Gord was his name. Ranger Gord. Yeah. Always full of good advice, except when it came, come, came to anything involving social situations. Yeah, it dodged just as you fired. 
Have I mentioned I don't like this game anymore? No, I don't think you have. About to go. Time for another screwdriver trick. We're gonna hide the screwdriver in this lock. But yeah, a, a crowbar would solve so many of these problems. Like, you know that little skit with the teacher, like, asking someone to uh, put the blocks in the holes? Where does it go? That's right, it goes in the square hole. Where does the circle go? That's right, it goes in the square hole. Where does the triangle go? That's right, it goes... In the square hole. Somebody didn't quite think that uh, particular cognitive test through, did they? It was the best children's toy ever. They really want you to use the crossbow here. They were like, you've been using non-crossbow weapons too much. You gotta use the crossbow. No, that's me picking already fired. Oh, okay. She enjoys everything when it comes to healing too much. Again, it's like they're trying to penalize exploration. Are you actually... This game is actually impossible. Yeah, this is a bit much. This is a bit a lot much. them from fucking throwing. A Capellan cognitive test for officers. It's fair. We literally did not. Well, we got some collectibles, but yeah. We had some good chats. I wish there was a way to inform the... Uh... More... For a while there, you could rate Steam games by... There was a website where you could sort Steam games by hours played versus uh, how low the review score was. And there was one game out there that the average play time for players who played more than 10 hours was over 4,000 hours. The average review score for the game was like 15%. Positive reviews. Come on. Hopefully, we get to drop a lot of loot. Yeah, I, I agree, Snake. Uh, crossbow is not a great. Uh, run and gun weapon it's a good thing for like silent takedowns yeah yeah hey free trash tip of the day when nature calls on a hike 
check the direction of wind before answering. Observations. Hikers have broken no, off No, we don't have enough time to read through all this. Uh... Okay. Alright. Also, you know, that that's very masculine-only advice. I have suddenly very much lost interest in anything to do with this game. Wow, there's a lot of uh, drawings around here. Yep, yeah, let's Google the solution. Okie dokie. Specifically because they want us to listen to it instead of actually just read the fucking thing. Research. Oh, we've already got this. Yep. Uh, Tricky Witch, Dark Lake. What the hell is the Tricky Witch? Oh, Trickster, of course, I'm dumb. Oh man, Th those drawings are like PNGs too, because you could see like faint chalk in a square Ugh. around it. <laughs> hey, 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 Starfield, it, it's... Uh, what's, what's the maker of Starfield on? What was the one that we wanted to bring here that we, uh, weren't supposed to bring here? Oh, the, the father. Oh. Alright. Uh, dining room. Yeah. Uh, Von Falkenstein, supposedly the radio at this point is how the puzzle is supposed to be solved. We're just... Yeah. Game is... It's getting to be a little much right now. Do so. You guys know I'm really kind and nice to games, but this is a bit much. Uh, uh dining room mother. Gift in reality. What? See, but see, I don't get to see what she's saying the what the to, so it's totally meaningless to me. Uh... Mm -hmm. Found all the nursery rhymes in the Cauldron Lake area. Yay! Sour grapes. Find evidence. Mm. 
it's one reason why I, I tend to really research games before I buy them, just to find out. I heard good things, play. and also I'm married to this franchise, but... No, and I, and I get it. You you kind of got... That's all the stashes. Ripped off pretty well heavily. Prepared. Yeah. Case closed. Stash found in Ear Creek Cauldron area. Blah, blah, blah. I probably it's sound like such a bitch, but this is a grind. Yeah, no, it's one reason why I avoid things like uh, first-person shooters in general, other than my my dear friend Stalker, and I have no hope for Stalker too. Ducky! Hey, it's a rubber ducky. Ah, oh, fuck! Uh, that's a... that's an object of power. Oh? Who is this? How do you know I'm here? I've been monitoring your incessant temp. Did his voice just sound like it was in the room for a second there? It did, yes. And then it got, uh, dirty. What project? Correct. Indeed. We shouldn't be able to contact the oldest house, uh, and he shouldn't be able to contact us. Uh. Maybe the rubber ducky is an object of power that lets them out. But I can't pick it up because it's glitched. Thank this you. Be handy. Oh! Did you see that? No. Oh, another charm spot. Hey, I didn't I tell you that's what we needed a long time back? Yahoo! Extra life. Time for an extra life. I'm and I'm taking my dolls back, huh? Fair enough. Mada, Mada, Mada. Children, not to walk my way. Oh, mother. They get knocked down, then get up again. Yeah, that, that's definitely the song I was. <laughs> hey, oh, hey, it's always down. time for up. a bad remix of Chumbawamba. But I get up it's again. Just always, always. Doesn't matter if you're like karaoke, doesn't matter if you're like singing along to the radio, just always segue into Chumbawamba and see how long it takes people to catch on. Dr. Campbell thought the experiment would send me to the dark place. There's a lesson here. Probably something about hubris. He was sent instead, karma. Man in lab coat messes around and finds out. Called it. Not a cliche at all. It's not a cliche if it's true. No, or it is, huh? It kinda really isn't. I don't know how much you know about like science science, but it's real fucking boring like ninety percent of the time. The other ten percent of the time you're just in like a haze. I guess. I just I just don't like the cliché. Beautiful forests! 
Oh, we got exploding axes now. Neat. AOE thrown axes. Well, we can't go this way. But we got a fishing rod. Uh, Today's yellow... catch. Yellow perch. Today's catch. Old rubber boot. No one notices a quiet old fisherman. Not even the fish. Yep, we read that. Oof. Did not like that. Uh... Mm-hmm. Maybe. No. At the greenhouse I worked at, they did a little bit of uh, hazing on me, but I caught on right away. So they tried to have me look for like a really, uh, like a, a, a flower that doesn't have a name for a customer. And I knew it right away because they kind of screwed up the Latin. They added Greek to it. And so I went in the back and I got a piece of paper and I shaped it into the name, like into a, the shape of a flower, like a little bit of origami. And I, I put the name of it on the piece of paper and I handed it to the person. They were, they were not amused, but I had fun. <laughs> I remember these arrows from way back when. Yep. But yeah, no. Not a huge fan of hazing. If you need to make fun of somebody, just make fun of them. Don't just make them do pointless things. Guess we gotta go to the witch sign and the overlap. We can squeak through. We squeak through. She didn't even try applying it, and she was already making the happy noises. Huh? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, we, we already just walked right past the, uh, that switch point. What switch point? The overlap. Oh, yeah, because we already dealt. Yeah. I thought it might still be there. I thought possibly it would be like uh, it would be there if we had to still play more of Alan Wake's story to catch up. It's better if we just don't think about it. Uh, upward thinking. Just just have your mind completely overthink it, and don't like downward think it. Uh... Yeah, yeah, think right over it, not about it, just right over it. It's like when you drive over a bridge, you drive over, drive over the river. In this case, we're thinking over uh, the problem. Hmm. The FBC station, I guess, or the Bony Lake Path? Oh. You can't go underneath that? Um, go to the map again? Again, oh yeah, we have to go to the FBC station. Yeah, that's right. Oh man, we gotta go all the way the fuck back there. No, I think we do. I think that was a plot point. No, the only plot point I have... Or, and do Alan's. Mm. Uh, upward, uh, yes, yes. There is a uh, mild crossover between the two games. Where 
where do we go now? Well, the last lunchbox in this area, anyway. Uh, is it in the bottom right-hand corner, or is that a place of interest we've already been? On the Hang map. On. <sighs> oh, that's left. Yeah, that, uh, we're doing a whole loop, uh, so that'll involve checking here and up there and all that. You're right. Uh, yeah, it does work a little bit both ways. It's, um... They're made by the same company, right? Yeah. Uh, we got a side of for ending in a couple... Knock off some of these collectibles, huh? It's up to you, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe we'll go for another 20 minutes or so. We'll see. I don't want to push it too much. I think the control sequel depends on what the ending to uh, this game is. As we, uh, the oldest house is kind of missing, so. Yeah, and. They had a little bit of a oopsie whoopsie. Well, it'll go out if you shoot him. Okay. I forget which game it was, but there was a game I played like 15 years back that the way they'd manage difficulty is the less consumables you had left, the easier it got. And vice versa. And I kind of wish games would kind of still do that a bit. Not that should be the only measure that how uh, the difficulty changes, but yeah. You would still get the tension rack ratcheting up, but you wouldn't end up with like unwinnable situations. Yeah. And it does mean that the better you got at the game the harder the game necessarily got because you weren't spending as many consumables. So you had to still push your limit.
The problem is, is that once the player realizes that mechanic's happening, it really takes a lot of the uh, enjoyment out of it, because you can really easily tell. I spy with my little eye something that is green. It was a fern. Your turn. <laughs> You're not supposed to tell me. Oh, brown. Okay, ground? Three, idiot. Uh. You must that feel was a hard so one. stupid. That uh. was a hard one. You didn't even tell me warm or cold. Yeah, Vekron, that, that that is exactly it. It it does become kind of obvious after a while. <laughs> no point in get letting the player explore. We're going to drop an enemy on this area. Nope. You know, if the Black Pants Legion divine that made that station, it would just be nothing but farting noises. Yeah, yeah no, I, I, I'm a huge, I have a huge amount of hatred for uh, bullet sponge type enemies. We read that one, yeah. Signals rerouted to transmitter that's not one of ours. I've fixed it so any alerts will come our way, but it's definitely concerning. I'll make a report for the investigations department. Leaving this here in case we're... I'm not the next person to fix this. If you're reading this, check for tampering. We may want to put a more secure metal casing around the thing so that the raccoons can't get to it anymore. Them Swedish raccoons. Oh, jeez. Uh, Cauldron Lake is ramping up, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, hang on. I'm going to search missing Alex Casey lunchbox. Yeah, missing lunchbox cauldron lake. You got it. Got that one. 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 Hope to God I got that one. Ah, okay. Hang on. Because this walking is getting a bit. <laughs> Fuck's sakes, you and your speed hacks. Oh, I, I just find it funny. Artificial inflation. <laughs> you gotta get that, gotta get that high speed shuffle on. So does she do that duck automatically? Oh, okay. Hey, hey, she had... She had very big FBI training. It was the biggest, and that's what they taught to do in terms of danger. You, you duck. I took a wrong turn. Yeah. 
and they just keep coming 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 and they don't stop coming coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming Hey, at least it's not like Project Zomboid, where, or a Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, where the number of zombies well outstrips the number of beds in town by, like, a factor of 50 to 1. Oh. Yeah. Me? There's a oh, yeah. Is, uh... Ah. There's another lunchbox. So, uh, upward. I uh, have... I always like when people say that because back in like 2006 when I was living with No uh, wonder I couldn't find it. It wasn't on the fucking map despite me having the thing equipped. Yeah. I looked down at the rippling water. The moonlight danced over each and every wave. A marching band of shimmering light, lonely and cold, hugged myself inside. The thought of him. Then the surface of the lake calmed and like a spectral surprise, he was there, his face smiling at me, reflected in the water. I looked up, not daring to believe it was true, but it was true. He was there, my love, my savior, my writer. He brought Scratch into being. I was going to say, she is trying really hard to bring him into exist or bring yeah. Alan back. Uh, and I guess yeah. I got to commend her for that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I created a D&D &D module, uh, just like a homebrew thing, where part of the puzzle was that uh, there was a bunch of it was a it was a trap dungeon and i told the players um when i say there's a trap when they say there's like uh like they would hear a noise and uh their reaction would be would base what their dc is they'd have five seconds to place their hand on the table on one of the five actions and the uh, the actions were uh duck dodge dive dip or um help but it was it was with a D. So, I know it's uh, a dodgeball reference, isn't it? Oh, this was before the movie Dodgeball, I think. This was way back when. Yeah, it just that it was alliteration, and I really liked it. Uh, yeah. So, duck, dodge, dive, dip, and uh, it was another word term for like backing up. It, it might have been deke out. I said deke. Yeah, like, you might be right. You might have reminded me. Uh... Yeah. I don't know. It was not Dodge a second time there. <laughs> Mary Emperor. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was... I think it might have might have been, like, Dumble. As like uh, just I, I didn't want to say tumble, but just like dump like just, yeah, just kind of like tump dumble out of the way, and like some of them, all of the traps had a specific noise I would make with my like I would just say you hear it rumble, you hear it screech, and like they'd go up to a door, you you hear a, a clicking mechanism, and then they'd have five seconds real life to uh, put their hand on one of the things, and. If they chose wrong, like if they die, if they uh, ducked and the door just slammed forward on top of them, they were in for a bad time. Like it could be, or if like the floor went out from them and they twist it, pop it. Yeah. Uh... yeah. So this was back when like uh, D and D second edition was still a thing. So. Oh damn, she driving real fast this time. Zoom zoom zoom. Zoom zoom. <laughs> Better hope there ain't no deer in them woods. Side note, it is scary to hit an animal. Well, I remember driving way too fast at night trying to reach a destination that I can't for a reason I can't quite remember. I mean, it is the Canadian experience. No, that was a quote from the first game. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, we're still on speed hack mode. Yeah. That's why it was driving so fast. Yep. Oh. This is going to sound real funky. Nope. You're not going to play it? I'm going to play it, but it's not going to sound funky. Uh, even if I did have the speed hack on, it wouldn't uh, make him talk faster. All it would do is uh, make the... The animation go faster. 
Yeah, make the subtitles out of sync. Uh, where's the cult finds the clicker? After getting his hands on the FBC files, Ilmo Koskalin knew what he was up against. He masterminded the cult, his and Yako's army, to fight the fucked up horror lurking under the lake, and a plan to keep those feds in their bunker by the lake in the dark. Outsiders would only screw things up. The Koskalis sabotaged the FBC's monitoring station and rigged it to alert them when something was brewing at the lake. One time months later, when the alarm rang, they drove to the lake again ready for a fight, but this time they didn't find any monsters. Something else washed ashore. The light switch. They'd read how Wake had stopped Jagger with it in the stolen files. From that point on, whenever the cult caught someone taken over by the shadow, they cut out the monster's heart, pushed the switch into the hole, and flicked it. I'll find a new face to wear. That is a lot. Time to get old Tactical and raid the FBC armory. Whatever all that was about, it sounds yep. real fishy. You know, I feel it's a really bad idea to cr walk, stand on a crosswalk with your back to the side street. I'm still seeing spots from those lights. What the heck was die? that about? What the hell is she doing? Lost her name tag, I guess. <laughs> oh. Well, it looks like the diner's closed. Oh, never mind. It's the place next door to the diner. I'm wondering if their animations are a little, like, fucked up because of the speed hack. It's fun. I'm accusing you of being Mr. Hacker Man. Don't Mr. Like Hacker Man. Right she doing drugs. She doing them caffeine drip. Uh, she got that drip going on. Might have been a mistake to come out. Look better on me though. The door lock. I can't force it open. Maybe if you use the doorknob. Maybe if you replace the doorknob. That's how it works. Because the doorknob, the doorknob is probably an object of power that opens doors. Eh? Eh? Wouldn't that be the best object of power? You just put the doorknob on a wall, turn it, and the wall opens. Dun dun dun. Pull the light cord three times. What happens if we click our heels and say we just want to go home? The control reference. Huh? Hmm. Part of me was thinking it was an overhead fan reference. Another one mm. of those lunch boxes. The woods were dark. I held my breath. I could hear heavy footsteps out amongst the trees. I was scared. My heart beat in my chest like a small bird fluttering against its cage. I shivered. I was cold, too. I saw a shape that emerges from the trees. It was a menacing large shape, a bad shape. It looked at me with evil, glowing eyes. I gasped. No. 
It had seen me. It growled and lurched towards me. I ran. I ran and I ran and I ran and I ran until it was running became too hard to do. I couldn't run anymore, so I stopped running. I could feel the monster's hot breath on my... Uh, Roll down. I can't, huh? You can't scroll down. There we go. Uh, on my neck. I was too afraid to turn around. It was about to get me. I was a goner, for sure. I ran again. I have never been so scared. Not ever. This was the end. I wish someone, anyone, would come to save me. Oh, no. I wonder who will do it. Mr. Wake. Mr. Wake's got this. Saga got good cardio, but... Yeah, the, the page, the page, the page. The manuscript page. <laughs> we left it, we left it behind. Rose receives a message. Rose woke up from another dream from her idol. Another message. All through her morning routine, she was humming happily. So happily, she realized she was starting to forget what Alan had told her. Something about a hero who would come to save them all. And the hero? Rose frowned. This won't do, Rose Marigold. You know better than to forget. Something about knitwear. The hero? Liked it? Rose nodded, determined. She'd use the knitwork to guide the hero to the secret stash as she had hid in the forest to help them. Knitwear to mark the spot. Alan will love that, she thought. Now she only needed the knitwork. Rose thought hard. Mandy May was always knitting. Mandy May would help her. Ah, uh, that wasn't me that desynced that, by the way. I was running. Yeah, I, I remember it was desyncing a fair bit before. I see boats. We're going fishing? Nah. The most we can do for fishing is put our toesies in the water. We get some bites occasionally, but usually just leeches. Them leeches. Called us the clicker at power. They found it at Cauldron Lake. Been there for so long, trees are growing on the inside of it. Hey, I'm up to 20,000 goob again. Yay! Can't wait for the next gambling thing where I can blow it all on like nothing. Now that's real combat. PCP versus 88 versus meth. Fight. Both of you die, it's considered a draw. Fight. Remember, best two out of three rounds. I haven't been able to catch any of Maverick's streams recently. Has he not been streaming? Uh, not recently. Yeah. Needs to get a good another... Yeah, we need to get another good horror game going. Yeah. Does his heart rate freakishly go down whenever he's scared, huh? <laughs> oh, he's at college. Well, you know, the, the blood pressure collapses, and then, you know, like, when you go into shock, 
and then the uh, your heart rate uh, compensates by stopping, right? It's, yes, of course. It's health. It's the science of health. Ow. Full health. I didn't hear it. No, I didn't hear that. Oh, he's talking to me. Fair enough. Huh? Oh, we are in his boots. Oh, oh no. Oh no, I, I, oh no. I, uh... We're, we're Mav right now. Oh no. Or you're Mav. I, I, I'm Mav co-commentator. Oh no. Oh no. Stream just FYI. <laughs> Time to redeem an eye. No. Warned, uh. <laughs> Five push, no. I still don't think I've gotten all the. Another Alex Casey lunchbox? Don't pretend to be anyone or anything besides who you are. Aww. Rain More fragments of manuscripts. Against the windows! <laughs> they shouldn't be out this late. Remember, the best thing you can do with gam is the best thing you can do with good is gamble it. Blow it all at one thing and hope and pray. Always use the always use the worst odds possible. That way you get the best payoff. There's footprints. Manuscript. This manuscript is broken. It's dirty. Cynthia's lamp. When Cynthia Weaver was downstairs at breakfast, Rose snuck into her room. With all the lamps in the room, it took her a while to find the one with an angel. Luckily, the dream Alan had sent her had been very clear. Rose was certain that Cynthia would not miss one lamp. She had so many. Tonight, Rose would put the lamp in a shoebox and let it sink into the garden pond. That's what Alan wanted. That's how she could help him. The thought made her whole body buzz with joy. Cynthia knew the lamp was missing the very moment she came back to her room. She was overcome by grief. It had been Tom's lamp, one of the few things that reminded her of him. It had not worked in a long time with the cord severed and the light switch gone. But there are other kinds of lights than the ones we can see. The invisible light of the angel lamp had held Cynthia together all these years. With tears welling in her eyes, she didn't see the shadows shifting in the corners of her room. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Rose did all this for me. She completely believes that I am the hero in Wake's story. She should be a bit more critical of a person who tries to control people's lives. <laughs> Rose was leaving the lunch boxes. She was using them to fight Taken, but also hoped the hero of Wake's story would find them useful. Yay! Yep. What's up, Gramps? He's just doing a bit of a stretch before he goes in and talks to, um, talk to Odin. 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 I hope Atty's okay. Didn't that door have an electronic lock that wouldn't let you through? Uh, give me the key, I think. He doesn't let you just smash through the door without opening it. It's fine. God damn, that man probably doesn't need crutches if he's been on crutches for all day. Put some Without... fucking pants on, buddy. <laughs> Alright, yeah. uh, I'm gonna head to his... Yeah. Yeah. 
man towels like a boss. And such, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what collectibles I'm- Hey, hey, I'm all about that financial advice. On Wednesday, I did my taxes. And then I realized I needed to do a seven-year adjustment on my taxes. And then you remembered you forgot to sign them, I do believe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I put them in the mailbox, and then I walked away, and then I turned around, and I was like, I didn't sign them. Oh, nice. Oops. Uh, so I gotta head to the lighthouse and find... I'm gonna switch to Alice yeah. next time. Yeah. I feel, uh, probably in about three, two months, I'm gonna get a letter in the mail saying you're being audited. I got, I got, just got this feeling. No, you know? the T is silent. It's a foreign car. Sweet, I'm getting an Audi. Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. Audi. Oh, Thirty hours I've put into this game. Uh, well done. The outrage, the audacity of it all. Uh, I've put that many hours into a game in a single day. You've put thirty hours into it in a single day, huh? You just need to be running it on both monitors it's at the same fine. time. Fine. You just need to run two copies of it at the same time. It's fine. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Like how running is just trying to walk twice. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's walking with little jumps. Alright, fellas. Uh, so that's going to do it for us. Ah, Scary Owl. Uh, Everybody have a great yeah, evening. I have been Newt. Uh, and I have been Chris. Who cares about who this guy is? Uh, yeah, the podcast still isn't working. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to get... I'm going to make sure podcast works one of these days. Yell at Diggs. Uh, I have. Make his face sad. Uh, yeah. He won't be able to bear it, huh? Yeah, you're you're all welcome. I hope you have a all of you have a wonderful rest of your weekend, and uh, stay safe and have a good night. Oh, and thanks for uh, following there, Sergeant uh, Bahama um, uh, One. Sergeant Bahama Mama. Bahama Mama. I pronounced it right. Yeah, you didn't hear me. Yeah. I didn't. Right. <laughs> good night, all. Bye bye.